Well, it looks to me as though need and demand for the skills and knowledge of physiotherapists is going to continue to increase much faster than the number of physiotherapists. So we need to think as well as the traditional business of one-to-one -one physiotherapy, hands-on, supportive, fantastic, needs to continue. We need to look, away, look at a way in which the knowledge and skills uh, and the insights of physiotherapists can influence thousands of trainers, hundreds of thousands of carers, maybe millions of carers, because remember most carers are 60, 70, 80, looking after other people aged 60, 70, 80 and 90, and millions of people with long-term conditions. So it's a logistic problem. It's a, a knowledge service. It's not only a hand-to-hand -hand service. And I see physiotherapists as having an even greater contribution to make if they think of working in a different way. Well, the president of Toyota said Toyota is a knowledge business. Um, not just knowledge about cars, but knowledge about what people think and believe, the competitors, the customers. So I see uh, three groups of people, really, that uh, need some of the knowledge that is in the heads of physiotherapists. Uh, one would be trainers. And there's an organisation called UK Active that links to all trainers, and many of whom work in, what, in gyms, many of whom work in uh, what I don't like, leisure centres, I don't like leisure centres, but they're rebranding as wellness centres. Secondly, I see many people who are seeing people with disabilities, carers, people who care, most of them relatives, some of them in their 70s, 80s and 90s, and in my view they are not appreciating the benefits of helping people do something themselves. I went to see someone 91 the other day and he said, oh, I said, are you still upstairs to bed? Yes, it's a struggle. My carer doesn't like to see me struggle. I said, well, you tell your carer you're doing exactly the right thing. That young people are paying large amounts of money to struggle in a gym. And if you're 91, struggling is keeping you getting the toilet in time. So there are carers. And then there are people with disabilities themselves. And obviously, if they see a physio, they'll get good advice. But how much do they remember? And this is where I think we've got to look at uh, the use of this is the most radical technology in healthcare, not the human genome. So taking uh, little videos of the exercises we've been through together and um, uh, so there's someone who could be reminded. And of course, every profession I see can think of, oh, I can think of someone who's not on the internet. But actually, we're seeing people in their 70s, 80s and 90s getting online very quickly. So those are the three groups. People we call trainers, people we call carers, and people with disabilities. And a little bit of the knowledge that's in the head of physiotherapists would make a fantastic difference to those thousands and millions of people.